Hi folks, in this election, uh, we will be looking at the The district of the is based on the collective classes. And this collective classes is made up of a particular carbon. That means it has a large surface area. The one good reason for making this type of uh, super capacitor is the fact that it can be assembled easily. They are not uh, taking uh, the activator down on top of this and align them with that. So, uh, so, so yeah, you see, uh, we think it can be assembled and put together and be put together. I have gone um, how to make this activator uh, uh, carbon plastic, this collective plastic, and carbon in a previous video, you can also go to the previous video. All right, let's see how it's used. Uh, uh, let's go to the right and store charges. Uh, for super capacitors or ultra capacitors, we store charges more than the ordinary or the super capacitor. However, the shortcoming is the low voltage rating of your light bulb, the battery, the super ultra rate, the super ultra rate. Um, so, the integrated project will be doing the electrostatic double layer for the capacitor, the DPLC, the super capacitor. So, let's start with the green. For this project, we are going to need uh, the connected plastic. This connected plastic is an uh, activated carbon. So I'm going to cross along these lines. Okay. And later we'll check for the resistance of this uh, particular electrode. Uh, so let me cross through. Okay. So I have uh, shifted these uh, crosses and uh, I'm going to shift it. And these are the parts I have. These are all uh, conductive plastic made of uh, activated ca uh, charcoal or activated carbon. Okay. So I'm um, going to proceed to. These are the metal collectors. Let me measure the resistance, please. Let me measure the resistance. Let's see. Uh, this one is giving about uh, 500, let's say around 500 ohms. That one is about 500 ohms. So it's going down to 400. We have 200 by 200 ohms. Okay, so we have it like that. About 400, we get about 600. Okay, 500. So it's like, and I will take care of that thing. And uh, this one here, I'm going to take care more. I'm going to serve as my organic electrolyte. So uh, this is going to serve as my organic electrolyte, and at the same time too, it's going to prevent uh, my super capacitor from drying out. So uh, at the same time too, I'm also going to put a uh, clean saw, clean saw to give it more conductivity, more conductivity. So I'm going to add a uh, clean saw. I'll be shutting this place off. Add some salt. Okay. Add salt. Light and uh, the salt will be serving as uh, the, the non organic uh, electrolyte. Okay, so I um, need to do the work better. So, these are my metal collectors. I'm going to place uh, this here. And I have my little light here. So, I'll be putting it here. Okay. Of course, I'm going to use a piece of paper. A piece of paper as my dielectric. Can use a cloth, a piece of cloth, or any other membrane. So I'm gonna put this one here, and then I'll take this uh, other part. I'm also gonna brush this. Okay. Make sure it's balanced. Then I take another one of it and place it on top of it. So I have formed the capacitor. Um, 
because I'm going to do the dress up the way I'm going to uh, uh, roll the two letters together. So I'm going to put the piece of paper, uh, the piece of tobacco. I'm going to open this. And uh, I'm going to tighten it. So we have our two terminals. Okay. We have our two terminals. So we have this uh, super capacitor. Uh, super capacitor is ready. So, okay, so we're going to connect to this two points. For the test, I'm going to use the servo battery, and uh, I have still have the capacitor running. So I'll just uh, connect uh, it back to this battery, and uh, you can see here. Uh, 0.51 that's the voltage and the voltage drop from this uh, super capacitor too. Uh, let's let's see what happens. Okay, so let me I have to remove it from uh, the battery and uh, let's see how far it has charged. Okay, so we're having about uh, 2.45 it's going down after it's discharging. So I'm testing just one of these uh, super capacitors, this particular one. Um, later on, I will merge these two together, but uh, the two are performing well. They are giving up to voltage of about uh, let's say over 2.20 volts. Okay, this table here, 1.61 is still 1.65. Okay, so let me try it again. Uh, this time around, I'm going to connect the both uh, in parallel with uh, this uh, uh, this meter, okay? And uh, I'm going to use the red ball that I just paid. That it does not uh, go bad because uh, the red ball has a voltage rating of the 1.8 volts. Uh, sometimes uh, it brings out the current too fast and it's able to damage uh, the bulb. So, okay, I think that's enough. Okay, so you have about, uh, you can see the result for yourself at 2.8. It is going down. Okay, so let me test it alongside with um, this LED light and see the result. Okay, you can see the red light. Okay, that's for the super capacitor. So it's not on this battery, it has been starting for the battery, you can see it, it's powering the chip. Okay, and look at the voltage there on the meter, it's uh, 180, 1.80. One of the time, uh, let me add the two super capacitors together uh, in series and uh, see the result. All right. So this one, I'm going to try it here. Okay, this one is for the. I've made some little connections here. Um, okay. So this one, this super capacitor goes to this super capacitor. Just uh, to this so this is the terminal of this uh, particular system. Then uh, I'm going to take this one right here. Um, So I'm going to use the blue one. 
because uh, if I use this on this uh, uh, red box, it might damage it. So I'm going to. Okay, so this uh, red part is. And um, let me remove it from. Let's see the result of the bottom So I'm having 3.39. Uh, okay, you can see the result. This is when the two um, capacitors are combined, two capacitors are combined in series. So that's what we are having then 3.03. Um, I will connect to this box. See, I'll detach it from this uh, from the battery. I'll detach it from the battery. So, so this is the result. The bulb is coming on, and it's coming on for a very long time. Because you can see, it's able to put on this uh, bulb for a considerable number of uh, uh, periods. You can also see the voltage rating. Okay, so you still have only 2.56 or two cells for two capacitors. Okay, for two super capacitors in series, 2.55. So that's the experiment in a super capacitor using a conductive plastic made from a antigenous carbon or antigenous carbon up to another interesting material. I'll thank you for watching.